Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to take you through all the sales, the savings, the free assets, and everything you can find for Unity for this month, which can make massive savings across all the stuff. And I've searched through all the content, all the videos to give you all the individual links. If you've got any assets or free things that you've found for this month, be sure to comment them down in the description so you can help everybody else out. And be sure to throw a like on this video too, because it helps me out massively. If you're looking for loads of free assets, I do have my free assets video, which is available that I created for this month for November. And I do have another video, which is about the 40 free best editor extensions, which can make your Unity experience even better. And I'll put that in the description too. So to get yourself started with some quick information, Unity's Black Friday sale will start on the 19th of November. So make sure you mark that on your calendar and assets up to 95% off and there'll be daily deals and I'll be posting in the community tab every single day to keep you in the know. There's still Unity's Quick Start Bundle, which you can get for $19.99 if you want a bunch of assets that are suitable at a collection of 94% off. And I have a video all about this one and I'll link that down below too. The free asset for this week up until this Thursday the 13th is the parkour animation set normally worth £45 but you can use the code 3PeteGames to get this for free at checkout. We've got a bunch of bundles if you're a Unreal Engine user or somebody who uses these in Unity you can import those into Unreal Engine and export them out. But the big bundle we're looking at is the massive Unreal and Unity bundle. It's got 20 different Unity environments and various different sound packs, which are suitable across any as well. And something to remember, you do get an asset store key for all of these assets. So it's a great way to redeem them. So you don't have to redeem them on a different store. So when you navigate to this page, you've got the two, seven and 57 bundle. It's around $35 or £27 for the entire bundle, which are well over $1,000 worth of content. And Hivemind do have five star reviews on the Unity Asset Store, so you can check out their packs. And I'll put the individual links in the description too. And do be aware these are suitable for URP and HDRP, which makes it even better. So the first one is the Sherwood Medieval Town. And this was normally $89.99 to create different streets or rustic countryside camps. This has various different structures in terms of homes, fortifications, pre-made buildings, tents, props, weapons and loads of stuff included. The next one is the Sci-Fi Modular Outpost, which was $79.99 originally. So this has full interiors, emissive materials, dynamic screens, and loads of stuff to make this look even better. Next one is the Stylized Nature, which has been put up for the Unity Awards in the past, which is normally $59.99, and it's got a big open world with lots of different foliage, smart materials, a full terrain kit with lots of presets and LODs ready to go. We've got the Castle and Dungeons, normally $139.99, and this one has loads of interiors or enterable buildings, 194 different meshes across castles, fortresses, dungeons, and everything in between, all modular and all photo scan foliage. We've got the modular medieval town, which is specifically the docks area, which has 323 different meshes with different buildings that you can enter, an entirely modular system with lots of different homes, dockland, and props. The next one in this is the modular bandit village, which is normally $99.99 with 226 different meshes, and like all the rest, fully modular with buildings, streets, foliage, torches, and various different lighting setups. Next one is the post-apocalyptic town, normally $79.99, and this one could be perfect for a post-apocalyptic, a sci-fi wasteland, a sci-fi junk town. It's got bikes, bar areas, screen shaders, and loads of unique assets. We've got the modular destroyed buildings, and this is over 300 meshes to create endless arrays of either pre-made or destroyed buildings with various different components, and you can even use destruction effects within this to see these break down and be used in-game. Now we've got the modular medieval town, which is normally $99.99 with loads of beautiful stylized buildings, foliage in a very quaint modular town that you'd find in a peaceful environment. Next one is the modular dungeon building kit, which is normally $79.99 with over 100 unique different meshes, an entire visual effects library and something that you can imagine in a church or a cathedral. We've got the modular medieval fantasy village. So this one is more of a sleepy village town with more thatched roofs in more of a natural style with 210 different meshes. We've got the modular haunted house, which has a farmland, barn area interior, and a full interior for the house too. 
with 237 different meshes and props to make up this environment. We've got the dark fantasy graveyard with the cobbled areas, all the different tombs and mausoleum buildings with the gravestones, fences, walls and other additional props. We've got the sundown shop scene and stall, which is in a more of a dusk setting with an abandoned stall with a cash register, loads of unique props, food items and other stuff that you can imagine to see in your post-apocalyptic environment. We've got the Dungeon Temple, which is a beautifully themed temple with a light cascading in, with various staircases, old structured ornamental environments, props and everything to go inside this. Next one is the Modular Houses, which is normally $59.99, which is a set of actual just drag and drop fully modular houses with interiors in a medieval theme. Next one is the Abandoned Factory, normally $49.99, you can imagine this in a Victorian era scene or something quite industrial with the old machinery, windows, props, and blood-stained environment. We've got the medieval furniture props, which is normally $39.99, with 71 different props, collections of prefabs, chandeliers, banners, decor, small props, things for a more of a gothic churchy style. Another modular pack normally worth $49.99 is the modular wooden buildings. So you could imagine to see these modular buildings either in a small forested area, in a dock area, but it's just ones that you can really nicely drag and drop in with 13 different houses. And the last one here, we've got the Glimvale stylized fantasy open world environment, which is a beautiful little stylized one with lots of color and unique style with a one by one kilometer island with lots of different biomes, 237 different meshes, various visual effects, water. So if you do want to get hold of this specific humble bundle, you can choose which bundle that you want Choose the price that you want to pay. You can hit checkout and then scroll down to pay and check out. You'll see a confirmation with all the different assets and you can just click to get your software. You'll find the list of all the Unreal content, which is in separate codes that you can use if you're that way inclined. But if you scroll down to the bottom, which is really nice, actually, you can find the one key for your Unity store and you can find the sound effect packs, which you can download separately too. You can click to reveal your key to get this key that's available, but click on redeem instructions and you want to go to option two to redeem a product key. It will take you to your Unity account page as long as you signed in and you just want to paste your product key here that you got from Humble and then there you will have everything that you need. Everything will be ticked to give you a seat and you can choose your organization or whatever your username is. Just press redeem and press confirm. And then if you do head over to your account on the Unity Asset Store, click on My Assets. And on My Assets, you'll see everything within your account. I do hope you get hold of some of these savings, free assets, and these awesome environments that you can check out. Do let me know what you think down below. And do check out my Patreon if you want access to over 230 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons, to Verishutha and Party of Ten for their amazing support. So thanks to everybody else for coming to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.